the cricket team of New Zealand. <laughs> because the Kiwis play the game as the game should be played, not like those silly coots from Australia. So that's why uh, I, I support the, uh, the New Zealand cricket team. Lovely cricket. <laughs>and doesn't know who you two are because she hasn't heard of these leading bands of last century. Um, that's unfair on my daughter. She, she, she actually, my, my, my daughter has this very peculiar musical taste. She, she likes music of the 60s and then it's her music of this decade. And there's nothing in between. And she, she came to me a, a couple of years or so ago and said, Dad, and it's that tone of voice which every parent in this room understands because you know something bad is going to happen. Dad, you know how you like the Rolling Stones? Yes. And you know how I like the Rolling Stones? Yes. Well, I've just found these tickets on Via Goga. They're only £500 each. Can we go, please? Ah, oh, dearie me. Bono is one of the most articulate and effective advocates for spending on HIV and AIDS in the world today. He's a remarkable person because Unlike many of those celebrities who are happy to wear the sort of the red ribbon or pink ribbon or whatever the ribbon du jour happens to be, he actually spent time finding out about it. He invested his own time and increasingly his own money into trying to do something. But he used his celebrity status and he was instrumental in getting George Bush to spend more money than any previous US president had on the health issue on HIV. And the celebritization of disease prevention is one of the zeitgeists of this time. You only need to see the way in which celebrities use their status for political purposes to realize the power which they have as a result of their celebrity. Having said that, I'll leave you with this thought, because I've been told not to go on for too long, and nobody's yet sort of <laughs> drawn their finger across their neck, so as Giles Brandreth said, always leave them wanting more. So I'll leave you wanting more with this thought. How many of you worry about infant diarrheal disease in Africa? I guess, possibly Joe Nurse says, but the only one, I guess, in this room does. One or two more. 750,000 children die each year of diarrheal diseases in Africa. Three quarters of a million. This is not a difficult disease to prevent. But nobody's interested in it because unlike HIV, which you can easily get celebrities get worked up on, which you can argue is a security interest, infant diarrheal disease is icky. You don't really want to have, well, you only need to think what colour the ribbon would be that you'd have to wear <laughs> to show your support. <laughs> And so the challenge, I think, for people like myself is to think, what are the diseases in the world today that aren't receiving the attention they do deserve? For my money, infant diarrheal disease is one of them. There are many of them. And I think it's a challenge I would set you as Rotarians not to be seduced by the easy route, the disease which Bono or whoever the celebrity, the Kim Kardashians of the world today, say is the important disease, but actually to work and think about what are the diseases which really matter, which are not getting the attention they really need, and what you as Rotarians can do about it. Thank you all very much for, for inviting me tonight. Thank you for your attention, and I hope some of what I 